Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Amy Rose, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, uh, thanks for uh, the kind introductions, Amy. Uh, it's uh, really great to be in your company and uh, be speaking on such an exciting topic, beer to peer. Uh, for any sustainability manager, sourcing green energy is a difficult balance to achieve. On one hand, companies need to procure electricity at an affordable rate. On the other, companies also need to make sure its credentials are solid enough for when the media starts scrutinizing what they're doing. So this balance between perception, reality, and finance of getting green energy has never been easy. But Carbon United Brewery in Australia is trying a new option through its VB Solar Exchange, or beer to peer. Yes, it's not a theoretical concept, it's real and it's happening here in Australia. You might have seen driving down Southern Cross Drive uh, to Sydney Airport, big billboard uh, claiming this week your solar could earn you 5.8 beers. Uh, this is part of a multi-million dollar advertising campaign launched by Carlton United Breweries. And it heralds a radically new approach to sourcing green electricity called loyalty peer-to-peer -peer energy trading. Let me play a very short audio from their campaign as to what this really looks like. Okay, there we go. At the moment, your solar panels generate energy to power most things in your home. When it comes to the energy that's left over, it's often only one thing you can do with it. Sell it to the grid for a fixed price. The VB Solar Exchange changes this by giving you the option to exchange your solar energy with us for beer. That's right. For the first time ever, you can now send your excess solar energy to VB. And for every $30 of energy you give us, we'll give you a slab of beer. Oh, there you go. So, so this is happening. <laughs> Uh, what that ad uh, is suggesting uh, and the billboards that uh, are asking people to do is sign up for a deal where they will be supplying the brewery their excess rooftop solar electricity in exchange for beer, tracked and validated on PowerLedger blockchain platform. The launch of the program follows Asahi's acquisition of Carlton United Brewery in 2020. Uh, the program is part of Asahi's ambitious sustainability agenda which includes a goal to be powered entirely by 100% renewable energy by 2025. The VB Solar Exchange has been developed, of course, in partnership with uh, electricity retailers and power leader is a bigger part of Our executive chairman, Dr. Gemma Green says, well, it's a beautifully simple idea that achieves many things in one go. There are so many different ways to source energy but when you drill down to it, they all come with issues and complications. This one has almost none, and it comes with a huge upside, which is brand engagement. The brand in this case, VB, gets to engage with their customers on a whole other level. They can stop talking about being sustainable and just start demonstrating it by buying their customers' solar electricity. As we know, customers are increasingly scrutinizing the basis of claims of renewableness of the brands that they're buying. And this is becoming a real challenge for those brands. More and more, there is a disconnect in the eyes of public between the way energy and its green credentials get traded in highly complex, often quite circuitous and abstract ways. There is therefore an opportunity for brands to address this issue, uh, the issue of trust in the way they engage with their customers. What well, loyalty peer-to-peer -peer energy trading does is turn that challenge into an opportunity. By taking that level of interest and using it to get customers to do the work of a solar farm, for example, and provide a good proportion of the very electricity the brewery needs to make. Companies can, of course, produce the electricity themselves, but that requires significant amount of roof space, photovoltaics, or wind turbines. Maybe other options to buy the output from a solar farm. But buying all 
apart from this kind of uh, source uh, can come with certain risks where a company can end up paying for the electricity even when it's not using all of it. Uh, and may also be exposed to variations in the market prices for electricity. So for all those reasons, using one's customer's excess rooftop solar for some of the company's power needs makes so much sense. Like many really good ideas, one might ask why it hasn't been done before. And part of the answer is that the arrival of blockchain, which helps make the numerous small transactions between various parties economical to do. Before it would have been too expensive. The accounting and settlement process is based on blockchain and allows the participants to do what is quite an extensive and complex piece of accounting instantaneously and without the aid of any bank or trusted party. As our co-founder and technical director, John Bullock says, uh, you can try to do it without blockchain, but it doesn't work cost efficiently. And there is always a danger that your system may get hacked or, or will get corrupted which means that blockchain technology is key to decentralized energy trading really working. Certainly the public like the blockchain part of it, almost like it's become a brand in itself. Participants can log in at any time and find out just how much electricity they have produced for the brewery and how much beer they have accrued in return. And it's not long after they've provided the electricity that a van pulls up outside their house to deliver then the slabs of beer. It's your beer to peer. They can always even see how many stubbies they have acquired each day, uh, how they're tracking against other participants, and even how their entire state is tracking against other states. Maybe the connection between cold beer and solar electricity is a particularly intuitive and strong one, but it's hard not to imagine that Many other consumer goods and services brands are looking to peer-to-peer -peer as a way of solving their energy procurement headaches in the future. For example, telecoms, supermarkets, fashion stores, hospitality, restaurants, food and beverage sectors are all now expressing an interest. Thinking back to the heady days of 1990s, uh, loyalty programs were all predicated on air miles and burning fossil fuel in a conspicuous way. The loyalty programs, of course, uh, have come a long way since then. Whatever happens, it's gonna be an exciting space to watch. So I'll close by saying that beer to peer is just one example of how blockchain can enable such proactive brand engagement it doesn't just have to be electricity or kilowatt hours for beer. It can very well be, or can also be uh, kilowatt hours for mobile minutes or for internet data uh, or for credits for a new phone or kilowatt hours for plane seats or kilowatt hours in exchange of French macarons or any goods at your local supermarket. The potential is immense. And we are fully geared up to unlock that potential with our blockchain platform. So thank you once again for inviting me to share our thoughts in, on this exciting topic. Uh, if you have time, happy to take any questions. Back to you, Emiros.